Okay, now we have part two of our two episode thing for an LP vlog. The second episode here is The Perfect Pair, written by Joanna Luke and Christine Conco. So, but can't go back to the short version is uh, Big Mac at Blue Mountain Jack. Find out the story regarding parents and how basically they're the rivalry they have between the parents, and they find out that they are a half pair because of their dad. Basically, did it with a pair, a pair of a pair of family, and basically that is the jumping off point of the up go with them, going from broken to broken, hearing more pieces of a backstory, involving their parents and all that, and that's all I really want to say because we can go from another really good episode, and the fun in hearing more of a backstory. So I probably won't be able to say a lot because of spoiler reasons, but um, well. But first thing I want to say about the cup code and the Clone Harmony got leaked, and I didn't hear too much gun coming, but my god, I hear so much about the cup code. Everyone was talking about it, and you really should have been watching it, because it's not like a con in an app or anything like that, official, it aired in like Canada. I guess that makes sense. But um, think it was in the cup code, they mentioned Van Hoover. <laughs> um, and yeah, um, so. So I got like, oh, I already kind of knew the nature of the cup code. Well, my, but however, the only thing I knew about that focused on the parent, I knew the guest star again, I knew that some people found it quite difficult. So I assumed do about how their parent died or something. I thought it was something like that. So, when I called that, but actually, I was pretty disappointed at first, but that it won't be over. So, um, yeah. Um, the first thing is we have two guest stars. We have their the, um, gr grand pair, who, you know, grand pair, you know, who was voiced by William Shatner. I'm not even kidding. And I was at Mom, it was by Felicia Day, which is not too good, like, that is really cool. But Shatner, of all the people open the show, I mean, they've been joking about getting him on, and he actually been like, I do it. And he did it. Of all the roles, he's not even that Shatnery. Although, at first, I couldn't tell who he was playing. And then that kid started talking, I didn't really know kidding. But, but I have a feeling with that Shatner. That dude started talking more. He's not, not doing his spiel thing, you know. That would have been cool, but he was well used. Let's say you did a bit more and uh, see him get fong. I don't know about current singing, but I hope it is. Because that was a really nice song, even if it gets basically caught annoying. Hopefully, if that lose on a contract, it'll be extended or completed or whatever. So, so, okay, so, the whole thing of the cup is kind of that. They are well with food, viewed, doing that one in the pair again. They, could, they do a Romeo and Juliet Star Fox Lover thing with them. And, yeah, like the other episode that isn't coming here recently before, it is a, kind of a typical well, Juliet type situation. Can't we don't die? Well, I don't, we don't get a hint of how their parents died, or they just die in natural causes. Cause now we know they basically died, but we don't know if they died in natural causes or not. Right? if they did, if they didn't bring up any. Honestly, I thought that could have been going. Like if we're doing with Juliet, I don't think they're dead. I think I know from going. But no, <laughs> <laughs> that was crazy. If they went that far, but no. <laughs> No, but yeah, uh, and I guess it is kind of a typical kind of book for me. It's not the character of color like that complex, but as you have to go along, you do really get caught in it because it's a pretty well told story and it's really sweet. They do change, you know, sure, especially drawing of a Kong, which is called You're in My Head, like a catchy Kong, which ironically is not a catchy Kong, but it's a nice Kong. It's not supposed to be catchy, of course, and it's really nice. The effort between them is really nice. And they even have a little bit of banter there, which is good. And the actor do a good job back in the Good. And it's all really nice. And the back to itself is really interesting. I do find it weirder that they had apparently a few that we've never heard of. But apparently the parents like left a while ago. And, and the whole thing into gay because they have to be back in and, and they go, oh, hello. And then after. 
back from the learning of the feud through telling them I met a pair and they're like, oh. yeah, well, um, <laughs> yeah, so it's really um that's not it's, it's very interesting backstory. I feel like um John Chalmers goes up and I will say both who were hearing about this week and were expecting death like I was might be disappointed that just a really 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 um yeah yeah but it, it's a really nice story it really it got me to feel about that especially at the end you know I'm sorry I'm being kind of vague but it's like it's not like anything crazy happens no one dies um he just kind of go where I feel like gang every piece would definitely ruin it you know another minor thing I have is that we see a flashback of how they're kind of being whatever baby, and apparently babies can speak perfect fluent English. I didn't know that. I guess when Kate told me got something wrong with them. <laughs> but everybody can speak fine too. Uh, but, but I don't know if they're probably being great translated for us or whatever really talk. I don't know. That threw me off. <laughs> yeah. I was like, what? Um. But uh, the baby can speak not as cute and baby and that look. Like, like, tad, tad, and roll, like, um, but yeah, I don't know if love the hype and the cat that it's like the most emotional best thing ever to it, that, but it's my favorite for the king so far because it's like, well, for one, it new to the show, getting things with um, and parents, first thing, um, you know, first feeling much like it, it's Mickey part three of the, you know, the whole very rebuilt saga. That's the one I did do we all on, right? When I was kick. Yeah. Um and there go go and yeah, we the court up go we've had to court up go before every we have go we do not normal thing. Uh and show again. And you know what I think it kinda of cool say it's pretty new to the show and it really it's so nice. It's a little gap to where you really have to be hard to not at least get into it a little bit. You know, yeah. The tears are not most complex, but don't expect one of the great one of the whatever, or anything like that. But they're nice people, and both of them that. To completely on cut. Again, I like trying to get it fine, you know, it's like, I, you know, especially recently now. Yeah, but I like the bad thing, because they're nice, and they're like a little dilemma that he did with Kate and skin that up, go, go. Yeah, cool. Overall, this is really good. You know, it's like, it get a cool backstory. Yeah, and I go on and it's a really nice moment with a really sweet ending. I don't know if I love to do that other team too because I think it was hyped up a little too much for me from the people who did watch it. Um, but, I don't know. I don't know. No, I guess it was up like, hmm, no, a bit bigger, but, you know, but I got it with definitely a stand up episode for me, and definitely, and it is overall to the night. So, with that said, let's take a look at that tweet. That tweet is fame and misfortune. Okay, then, that count with misfortune. Hmm, that go either way, but that definitely count kind of interesting. Uh, wait a minute. I'll get to, ooh, that's the candidate of DuckTown premiere. Uh, that should be interesting to do both. I feel like I'm doing that for a big ugly comeback. Did you pumping that up so much? I gotta get that way first, go. So I bought a bag of that one like a day late or something. Um, so that's my next video on DuckTown, then MLP. And we got MLP going on for the next few weeks. I don't know if we can take any break, but I do know that if they do air one every week, there'll still be new episodes airing when the movie comes out. But I feel like they want to, you know. Yeah, I don't have a plan. I got all I have for the movie, but looking at close for all, big a little bit clearer. Um, I'll go, they aired some new hunting old shorts, unannounced, but they're short, so I don't cover those. Because we're just going to like a two to three minute short, you know. I don't think I've even seen a critical short, but I've a few. Like, you know, and I had Rainbow Rock and first game DVD, which I have a few, and I still have a few little short go. Um, yeah, go. But I don't care about the short, but short. I'm sure it's cute, I'm sure it's fine. But I have no need to cover short down here. Um, but, yeah, um, 
Yeah, Kurt Corner from Ever News. And we could bet on a five to seven two important. But anyway, I Oh yeah, this is coming up later so I can't remember. Anyway, I shall see you next week for uh fame and fortune and Doctor Woohoo. So see you guys then.